Good morning, preppers. Prepper Pam here. Uh, we are still on the road. We are in uh, Port Townsend, state of Washington. Um, we have been canning through the states as we go. Hubby wanted to go on a vacation, and it's a really busy time for me to be away from the house, so I'm canning on the road. Today I'm canning something that I've never canned before, rose hips. I heard it makes wonderful jelly. I'm also going to turn some of it, some of this into essential oils. Um, I'm so excited to find this. I have never found them before, and um, I have enough for a batch of jelly and, like I said, some enough left over for some essential oils. So all you do is you put six cups of water, you boil them, mash them, add your sugar and your pectin, and that's it. So uh, anyway, stay tuned. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is uh, rinse them. Let them soak. Rinse them off. Uh, make sure you get berries that don't have any pesticides on them. We got these um, along the beach. So you're going to rinse them, and you're going to cut these tips off. This here. Um, inside these rose hips are little seeds and little hairs that, are, that make you itch. Um, a couple different recipes I looked at, one said cut, the, cut out the seeds, but it's going to give you like an extra hour to two hours of work. Um, the reason they said to cut the seeds out is because it um, gives it a little funny flavor. But another recipe I saw said it doesn't matter if you take the seeds out or not, because when you run them through the cheesecloth, the seeds and the little hairs are going to get stuck in the cheesecloth, and they noticed no flavor difference. They've made the uh, the jelly both ways, and for the um, for time reasons, they just leave the little the person that I talked with and I read her blog. She um, left the seeds in, so I'm going to do the same. I'm going to wash these, and I'm going to cut the tips off, and I need two quarts of the berries. Okay, so here's the little seed pods in here. Let's kind of see them a little bit better. So like in one video it said to take all these out, but it adds almost an hour and a half or two hours to your um, processing time, your you know work time. Another one said leave them in and the cheesecloth removes them all. So anyway, I just wanted to just see the seeds. Alrighty, so I have two quarts going here. These are going to boil for 45 minutes to an hour. You want them soft enough to smash with a potato masher. So I'm just gonna let these go. Alright, these are all smashed down. It's been probably about over an hour, a little over an hour. It's a little freaky. See the inside. All right, I wiped the fog off the. All right, so I wiped the fog off the lens. This is what it kind of looks like. So I'm going to put it in the cheesecloth. Those are the seeds. Got a good smell to it. Okay, so um, it says to run it through cheesecloth. I have it in my tall pan. I'm not set up for this, so um, these little things hold down my tablecloths outside. They're glass, but they have little clips, so that'll work. Anything in a pinch will work. All right, so I've got it dripping. This was six cups of water, so it's really soaked up the water. So I'm going to continue doing this. Okay, so I put all of it 
into the cheesecloth. Now you're going to let it set for about an hour till it's cool enough to handle and you can wring out the cheesecloth. If you don't have three cups of juice from the rose hips, you can add water to bring it up to three cups. All right, this is the all the juice I got. I'm hoping it's pretty close to um, three cups. Let's see. All right, so I got uh, two and uh, three quarters cups juice. I added a quarter uh, quarter cup of water to it. Almost looks like a tomato juice. Even kind of smells like tomatoes. But after all that, this is all I got. All right, so you put the rose hip juice back on the stove. You add a half a cup of lemon juice to it and a package of sure gel. And you mix it enough let it cook long enough to where the sure gel um, dissolves. Okay, so you let this go until the sure gel dissolves and you bring it to a low boil. Then you're going to add in three and a half cups of sugar and you're going to let it get, it's going to turn real foamy and then you're going to um, add a um, quarter cup I mean a quarter teaspoon butter. Okay, once you add the three and a half cups of sugar, you cook it till the sugar dissolves, and then you add the quarter teaspoon of the butter. All right, I've added the butter. It's starting to boil a little. It is starting to get a little um, foamy. In the recipe, it does not say remove the foam, but I'm I'm going to. In all the other jellies and jams I make, I always remove, the, I skim off the foam, so I think I'll do that. This has to hard boil for one minute. Okay, set it at a hard boil. Gonna let it go for about a minute. A hard boil is when you stir it and it doesn't stop boiling. That's a hard boil. What's that? This is the first time I've made this, so don't know what to expect. Okay, so I'm ready to pour it into the jars. After all that boiling and stuff, there really isn't that much foam to take off, so I'm just going to leave it. And I'm going to start. There we go. Looks good. Okay, so out of three cups of rose hip juice, we got four and a half pints of rose hip jelly. And these are little half pints. They're perfect. Really cute for gifts. They got a very nice color. And it tastes really good. It's kind of a different taste. I've never had it before. I've never made it. Turned out really well. Um, so if you have any questions, uh, just email me, prepperpamel 